Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. <sighs> what timing. Not only was Gina luckily that I guess, I mean... I wonder when I'll be as tough. Thanks for helping us clean up the battlefield. You really didn't have to, you know. This work ethic of yours really puts me to shame. I know this paltry sum doesn't begin to pay you back for everything you've done for the knights, but... Now I have... There were no cap. Astra at Here we go. This is it. Crisis, danger, the thrill of adventure. Adventurer's Guild! Finally, our days of rescuing kittens and finding lost puppies are over! The roll up, youngsters! Join the Adventurer's Guild today! In this part, this stone terror threat is resolved! <laughs> I miss the acting. <sighs> ah, stone terror should have put up more of a fight. Long live the heroes. <sighs> Many trade routes have closed due to the storm terror incident. We can cope for now without fresh fruit and vegetables. <sighs> I cannot imagine a... <sighs> I hope they get the trade routes back. So storm terror's true identity is Devalin. One of the four winds. Every cloud has a silver lining. Where for that, we have you to thank. As long as we have the Knights of Favonius, peace. You heard? There's a strange wanderer near Wolfendom. Greetings! May I take your order? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. Ah, so you do feel something for me. And people say my charm is fake. To bask in the presence of Mondstadt's new big hero is quite the morale boost. Sweet-talking, sugar-coated Captain Kaya! <laughs> Nonsense. I speak from the heart. Just looking for a quiet spot to collect my thoughts? While 
All the other knights are working hard to clean up after the bad. Thinking can be an arduous task, you know. Believe me, I'd much rather be taking out the tr So what you thinking about then? The Abyss Order. A dragon wreaks havoc in Mondstadt, and the acting Grand Master leaves the city to combat the threat. Strategically, that's the perfect moment for the Abyss Order to make their move. If you were the Abyss Order, would you squander this golden opportunity by sending in nothing more than a few hilly churls? To get to the bottom of it, I decided to wait. So I waited. Then came the day you made all hell break loose in Storm Terror's lair. Just as the hilly churls' cries sounded from the city gates, that same day, I saw shadowy figures lurking in the city itself. Inside the city? Well, all the other knights were outside, fighting the enemy. As you can imagine, that left the inside of the city completely except for me, of course. And so I approached the Abyss Order infiltrators for a bit of... Through various means, I managed to gather some... The situation is this. The Abyss Order... They are... The Abyss Order has a leader? Yes. And it was this very leader who devised the plot to turn to... What exactly did you have to do to find this out? <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed with certain... There's more. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. Now, I'm sorry to cut this intelligence briefing short, but I... I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the... One minute I see Kaya, the next he slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. Are you sure? Because that sounds like exactly what he'd say to talk about. Uh, but let's forget about him. I worked super hard today, and my tummy's rumbling. Let's or- Hi, Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. Today's recommendation is steak. So, now the storm terror threat is behind us. What are your plans for the next step? Paimon thinks it's time to leave Monsta and keep looking through the Seven Nations until we find clues about his sister. Huh, really? Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye for now. Hey, don't feel down. You'll always be a friend of the Knights of Avonius and our honorary knight. Wherever you may go, and wherever the wind may blow. That's the spirit. Remember, Mondstadt... All right, now let's eat before it gets cold. Mmm, that was good. Note to Paimon, Amber's recommendations are worth the wait. Of course. Well, I don't trust myself in the kitchen. You could always trust me with the menu. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Jean's waiting for you at the cathedral. It's something to do with the Holy Lyre de Himmel. You. It's been getting quite busy recently.
Anything the knights can do for you. This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the holy liar de Hamel. May the animal archon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting group, but I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Monst. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dra- Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonia. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just- Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? 
We cannot ask you to keep defending the liar forever. The s we, uh, did bring it with us. Uh, oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church is always... should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> you that far. Hey, don't go! At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. Scurrying through the streets, looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin! Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. How impotent you've become. And that smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? You should have held your tongue. This is a gnosis, huh? Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. <laughs> Fenty! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. 
This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal. He left? Already? Where'd he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean... Uh, I, I mean, Master Jean said to let him leave. How strange. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the Animal Archon, Master... The Fadui were the ones who attacked you? Master Jean has already returned to the Knight's headquarters, but she also said that if the Fadui... wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. <laughs> I said the exact same thing last time. Uh, why do I only- Ah, uh, so you noticed. Uh, this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But as you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use the- in truth, every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people Allo- Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. <laughs> That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like vision. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself. <laughs> It's just a glowing glass ball I carry around to avoid suspicion. So who was that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your nose? Her name is Signora, number eight. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snezhnaya. The Tsaritsa of Snezhnaya? Isn't that- Indeed. She is one of the seven. The Tsaritsa, who reigns from her winter palace, and the- The Seven don't always get along well, but still. I never thought that she would plot- Uh, how should I put this? Five hundred years ago, I knew her well. But I can't say the same is true now. You see, a certain catastrophe happened five hundred years ago. And after that- she but we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another. If you seek the rest of the Seven, many difficulties lie ahead of you. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liyue for the rest of that. Even so, it sounds like he were- <laughs> In any case, this year's rite of dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait. What? Oh, why didn't you tell us before? Well, then bye! One moment, Windborn Outlander. Yep. 
Traveler, as you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. The birds of Tavat, the songs in the cities, the Tsaritsa, her the destination is not everything. So before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Use the chance to take in the world around you. Great. So that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Up till the S. I just hope before I. If you want to chat, now's the time. A Kaya should. I. Oh, they were probably trying to turn to Valen and I think so. A pick. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard. That Fatu. She wanted to. The slightest. So there. <sighs> the Fatu. Speaking of. He's. Yes. That's her. <sighs> If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stay. As I said, a no. But uh, wait. As one of the seven. I Hang on a hot second. <laughs> We're a great team. Mm. Hey. <laughs> if you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a sink. Well then. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays no- Well then! Thank <laughs> you. 
I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. <laughs> <laughs> 